In 2005, learning groups were introduced at Wellington High School. Our group decided to look at student engagement. As part of the PAS project in the school, learning styles were studied, and Barbara Prashnik spoke to the whole of our staff regarding learning styles. It was decided after her visit that we would test all of Year 7 students. After the testing, the student's profile came back. This profile was a very lengthy document of 12 pages and so we decided that the best way to, to help students learn what was in their profile was to actually formulate a card system. On the back of the cards were photographs that related to the words that were at the, at the front. Each card covered a different aspect of the student's profile. This one shows attitudes. The cards that proved the most successful were those that related to physical needs, being able to move around or food intake. Senses was also a popular card. Many people could understand that some people might need to use their fingers, some people may need to talk in their learning. The most difficult task of all was how we were going to introduce this to students. We decided to do it in the library and we decided to have various environments that students would find fairly stimulating. This one shows a very light environment. Some groups we gave audio exercises. This is a group who have only audio instructions. And the interesting part about this group was that their results were all totally different. So each of the students interpreted that audio instruction differently. When they were doing the audio exercise, they looked at each other's work quite often and had a look at how other people were doing things. They tended to work very well in this exercise and one of the reasons that we think they may have worked as well as they did was because it was also an area that wasn't very light. It was quite dimly lit. Some of the groups had food available to them. So whilst they worked, they were able to eat something quite bland and that helped them concentrate on their learning. With just an audio instruction, the results were very different. Other groups were given strictly kinesthetic exercises to do. They moved from one end of the room and were given instructions. Some students found this very stimulating. Most of the groups we worked with were very small groups and the whole idea of the exercise was to make them realise how they themselves learned best. Some of our students were group orientated and they liked to work with their peers when they were doing a task. Other students preferred to work by themselves. This task involved a, using the sense of touch. It was a puzzle putting together the parts of a flower. The more we worked with groups of students in this exercise and actually catered for a whole range of learning needs, the more we realised that teachers became facilitators of learning rather than instructors out the front. Despite the weird look on Georgie's face, she loved having the chickens. This uses not only the sense of sight and visual stimulation, but it uses um, touch stimulation as well. Chickens in the library was quite a popular little project one day when some ag students needed some chickens to do some distance ed work with. The students were able to weigh the chickens, take data and do a number of exercises while still in the library. At the end of this exercise, when we had finished all of this work, we looked at the risk results, how many students had had negative behaviours. And what we found was that after the introduction of learning styles for Year 7, many Year 7 students who had had a lot of risk um, notifications early in the year seemed to have less at the end of, or towards the end of the year and certainly after the learning styles was introduced.